Hello, Year 7. Welcome to the final lesson um, today for the Year 7 Life Processes topic. Um, today we're going to have sort of a mini conclusion, so you'll get that chance to do a bit of a test around um, everything you've learnt this term. What I'm going to do with you just now is share a screen. It's a 15 mark questions. It's a whole set of questions. There's 15 marks um, and one small little diagram that you'll be able to do. Um, it would be a really nice way for you to show what you've learned about the, the body and the digestive system and respiration and photosynthesis um, and all of those parts of digestion. So I'm going to share with you just an, um, an opportunity to feedback and show us what you've learned. Um, and then next week we'll share with the answers with you and you'll be able to say exactly how you did. So well done. I just want to say a massive congratulations for any work that you've done on lockdown. Um, all your hard work has been appreciated by all of the staff and you've done fantastically. Well done. Uh, so if you just bear with me a second, here is the work that I'd like for you to do. Okay, so at the side just here, um, we're going to start on um, questions one to eight. Question one, what does the M in Mrs. Gren stand for? So you could write in a full sentence if you would like. Number one, the M stands for, or you could just put M equals, okay? Question two, how many life processes are there? Question three, Name one, just one, of the products of respiration. Remember, these are to the right-hand side of the arrow. These are the things that are produced. Products are always on the right. They are what's produced. So respiration, when your body uses these things to make energy, okay? And then, question four. Name one of the reactants of respiration. So these two things are used when your body respires, when it makes energy. Every single cell in your body is respiring and using stores that you've got and a gas to produce energy. And then there's some waste products released. Question four is the reactants. Name just one of them. What is the name given to the process plants use to make their own food. So there was a whole lesson on plants. And what's the process, sort of the opposite to respiration, where plants make their own food? Number five. Number six. What energy source do plants absorb light from? So where do the plants get their light? Not a trick question in the greenhouse. What gives them light into that greenhouse? List one of the key nutrients we burn to get energy. So just one of the nutrients that we learnt about in our healthy eating. And question eight. List a food that you, I, that we could get carbohydrate from. Okay. So any food that contains carbohydrate. What I'm going to ask you to do just now is pause the video, read through those questions that I've read out to you, give yourself time to fully answer them, okay? And then we will move on to questions 9 to 15. Next set of questions. Question nine. Proteins are used in the body for growth and repair. Is that true or is that false? Question 10. How does the human body use fat? So 
we studied this in our healthy diet lesson, looked at how the body would use proteins, carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals. How does the body use fat? That was question 10. Question 11, where does chewing take place? So question 11, where does chewing take place? And I'd like you to specify in there whether that's chemical digestion or mechanical digestion, whether that's a physical, physical or a chemical digestion. I'd like you to say number 11, chewing, where does it take place? And is it chemical or is it physical? Question 12. Digestion is the process of building food from smaller pieces to bigger pieces. So, is digestion the process of building food from smaller pieces to bigger pieces? Is that true or is that false? And question 12 to 15, this is your opportunity to let your artistry, artistry shine, okay? So I would like you to draw and sketch that. And number 13, on there, you should specifically know without a doubt which section is the stomach. So the stomach should be clearly labelled onto your diagram. Number 14, label the mouth onto your diagram. Um, diagram. I'm sure you will be able to do that one. And 15, circle an area where mechanical digestion happens. So that might relate back to another question. There are, it's not a trick question, there are a few areas on that digestive system where mechanical digestion happens. Now as before, I'm going to leave you to read through those questions, give yourself plenty of time to check the wording, check your responses to them, and then we will be able to feed back the answers will be shared with you next week so that you can, in the final week of term, give yourself um, a mark out of 15. Now pause if you haven't had time to do those. If not, yes, then I want to say absolutely again, a fantastic well done for the hard work and all of the effort you've been putting into the life processes topic. That's absolutely fantastic and it will put you in a really good position as you go forward into year eight. Um, and you continue to cover some of this science curriculum, um, you may revisit it uh, in greater detail um, to cover any work that you've missed during this time. So I want you not to worry, um, I want you to give yourself a pat on the back, um, mark yourself next week, and thank you again from the science team for all of the hard work that you have done.